So they just have to pass because we got them, chat. We got them with the path. Beat ADP decks with this one easy trick. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, what's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Most players will tell you that Ice Rider Calrex VMAX is living in the shadow of its cousin, Shadow Rider Calrex VMAX from Chilling Rain. But today on stream, we gave Ice Rider Calrex VMAX a lot of playtime, and the deck ended up performing really well, very much outperformed my expectations for it. I think Ice Rider Calrex VMAX is a powerful new option from Chilling Rain and has a lot of things going for it. I'm excited to show off my list, but before we get to it, let's head on over to FullGripCodes.com. If you're looking to get all the best cards in your Pokemon Trading Card Game online account, look no further than FullGripCodes.com. FullGripCodes.com has got all the best Pokemon Trading Card Game online codes available for instant email delivery and supporting the shop at FullGripCodes.com directly supports the content I create here on Tricky Gym. Now let's check out that Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX deck. Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX is the star of the show. It's got 320 hit points and two attacks. Its first attack, Ride of the High King, does 10 damage plus 30 more damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon for just two colorless energy. So if your opponent has a full bench, you're going to be doing 160 damage, which is great because it two hit KOs almost all Pokemon VMAX and helps you to set up knockouts for Max Lance. Max Lance for two water energy does 10 damage and you may discard up to two energy from this Pokemon. If you do, this attack does 120 more damage for each card you discarded in this way. So if you discard two water energy from your Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX, Max Lance does 250 damage, which easily knocks out all Pokemon V in the Pokemon trading card game, including the new Blissey V, from Chilling Rain. One of the best parts about playing Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX is that it can utilize Path to the Peak, a new stadium card from Chilling Rain that reads Pokemon with a rule box in play, both yours and your opponents have no abilities. Like Pokemon V, Pokemon GX, Pokemon Prism Star, they all have rule boxes. Path to the Peak effectively turns those abilities off. So this deck is built to rely on non-rule box Pokemon's abilities like Chinchino with its Make Do ability. Make Do allows you to discard a card from your hand and draw two cards from your deck, which is very good for getting water energy into your discard pile so that you can effectively use Melanie, a new supporter from Chilling Rain, which allows you to attach a water energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon V and draw three cards. Kind of like an inverse welder, but for water type Pokemon. We also have one copy of Gormandize Snorlax, a great way to kick off any game. Gormandize allows you to end your turn by filling your hand to seven cards. It can really help you to set up your Minchino and your Chinchino as well as your Ice Riders. And we do play quite a bit of Switch cards in the deck. We've got four copies of Scoop Up Net as well as two Switch, an Air Balloon, and a Bird Keeper, which help us to move that Snorlax in and out of the active position. Now we do play four copies of Scoop Up Net, which pairs very well with the new Frost Lass from Chilling Rain. It's got the Frost Over ability, which reads when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may attach a Water Energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. You can't always use Melanie as your supporter for turn to charge up your Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX. So in a pinch, Frost Last with its Frost Over ability can help to charge up your Ice Rider Calyrex so that you can launch a powerful attack. And Scoop Up Net allows you to reuse that Frost Last throughout the game. It also allows you to reuse Mind Report with Mewtwo. It can allow you to put a supporter card from your discard pile on top of your deck. It's very good for reusing Melanie or Cheryl, which we play in this deck. Great for glancing off hits on your Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX. It does have 320 hit points, so pretty tough to knock out. And we discard our energy with Max Lance. So with Cheryl in the deck and Mewtwo to help us recover it, we can heal off damage that Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX takes during a battle and then continue swinging away, charging up our Ice Rider Calyrex with Frostlass or just taking a turn to Gormandize and then attack again the following turn. Check out this deck in action and let me know what do you think of Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX featuring Chinchino in the comments below. He can't keep getting away with it. Look at the top card of your opponent's deck. That's an insane attack. All right, that's fine.
All right, playing against Blaziken. Blaziken is weak to water. We like this. This is good. Yeah, we like to see that. That is fantastic. Thank you, Tagbolt TCG, for that sub in the five months. Hey, thanks, Tagbolt. Thanks. Okay. So I could do, I mean, I could do some damage turn one. That's pretty cool. But I think we just, I can't, you know, Melanie problems. You know, I can't actually do anything right now. So I think we just play the path down and wait to Mancino next turn and then Melanie and then, you know, do the thing. That seems ideal. So we're going to hold the water energy again. And then, yeah, go for the attack next turn. This seems good. The turn one path down. Maybe we can stick them. Now they got Drizzile. Drizzile is going to uh, get them, yeah, Shady Dealings, get them any trainer card they want. So that's fine. But, I mean, even Blaziken, Blaziken's got nothing on our Ice Rider deck. Absolutely nothing. I really am loving playing with Chinchino and Level Ball. That's something that uh, that has felt very strong about this list. I wish that there was like one extra way to get our Ice Riders into play. You know, the Urshifu builds have got uh, the Urshifu builds have got uh, you know capture energy. We do play a healthy amount of Pokemon, so Pokemon Communication is like a valid play in this deck, which is what we're using right now. But yeah, the Minchinos just, or the Chinchinos, really help get your water energy into the discard pile so that you can utilize Melanie effectively, which I think is very good. All right, we got Zeraora here. Thankfully, I do play Mew from Unbroken Bonds. I didn't have to worry about getting Mew into play this past turn because of the fact that my opponent did not attack with a Rap Strike Pokemon yet. So they're not going to be doing any sort of snipe damage or anything like that. I do think that I like the Chinchinos better than uh, potential Inteleon line if... If Ice Rider was Rapid Strike, you know, I, I think I would be on board with the Intellion line. But the Chinchinos you can also attack with. I really like that. Now, Intellion does kind of fix your math because you only do 250 damage. So that's like the bonus about Intellion. But I think that the draw power that you get in the Chinchino version seems... Uh, Seems very good. I don't think it's as hard to... With Evolution Incense, you know, it's not as hard to get ev Evolution Pokemon. A lot of times, you know, you just really want to find a way to get your uh, basic Pokemon early on in the match. It's one of the big things. Okay, we really got it all here. So, let's go get... I think that's all four level ball played in the first two turns of the game, which is pretty sweet. These fellas. And then I also think I want to thin the deck even further. Probably get like a... Ah, now we're going to get the Mew. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, so let's make do away. Water energy. Okay. And then we can Melanie. There. Okay. Okay. And then we've got one more make do. Paths don't seem like they're going to be very useful, being that my opponent's already got these Inteleons in play, right? So I think I can quick ball. And 
and get like it's tough because I need a, another water and I need like a communication. We just don't quite have the draw that we need yet. So I think we can safely grab like snow run. That's fine. And then we'll go here. Okay, we've got the VMAX. We didn't get the energy, unfortunately. So we are going to have a little bit of a slower turn. I think I goofed. I should have. That's fine. I do want to have these two down. But I have to put the Mew down now. So we're going to slap the Mew down. And then I'm just going to pierce for 80. Which is fine. I could still, you know, with the knockout, I didn't have to put the Mewtwo down. Because with the knockout, I can still potentially, I can still put the Mewtwo down in the Melanie um, to get the water energy out of the discard pile. Which is good. But we are going to be taking 20 damage a turn. So that's annoying because they can knock out my Mew that way. And I don't actually have a way to return the Mew back. So that is going to be bad because they're going to take, you know, two prizes right here. And then that's going to be a third prize. But fortunately... I don't have too many liabilities. So that's good. And here are my water energy that we wanted. Oh, I could scoop up net to save the Mew. That's so sick. So yeah, if they like double snipe the Mew, I could just scoop up net to save. Oh, that's so insane. <laughs> oh, that's busted. Oh yeah. That's gonna be, my opponent is not going to love that I do that. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're gonna I imagine that they'd be pretty upset. Yeah. Forty damage on the Mew and then just erase the forty damage. Yeah, so we got four cards that we're gonna get to see. But unfortunately <laughs> yeah, Bryant. Yeah, you know, if you're trying to win the most amount of games, that's probably your best strategy is to just play ADP instead. But that's not what we're here for. Okay. Okay, we can get rid of a boss. We've got Marnie now. Marnie doesn't really get me... <laughs> the stuff that I need, frankly. Uh, we kind of need the Mewtwo, the Melanie. Um, I can energy assist. That's Energy assist wouldn't be like the end of the world. Um, it would probably be fine. So let's, let's make do that. Okay. So... I've already got my other Chinchino in the disc. I should have discarded that Chinchino. That's fine. So scoop up the Mew. Maybe I don't Marnie since I just have these scoop ups again. So if they try to like target down the Mew, then. Huh. Because losing a Chinchino is, like, not great. So... It's not great. No, no, no. But, like, that's fine. 
Should I bother using Marnie? I guess. No. We'll hang out here. We'll just energy assist. That's fine. Put an energy on Ice Rider. And if they gust around, that's okay. I want to keep the scoop up nets in my hand for like one more turn. Right. Because if they try to snipe my Mew, then I'll pick up the Mew again. If they gust up the Mew and knock it out, you know. And we got like a, you know, kind of a different challenging thing going on. I didn't put the Minchino down because this is my third Chinchinos in the discard pile. And they are going for the Mew again. And softening up the Ice Reiner, which is fine. Thank you, Replica Wolf, for that Prime sub. Appreciate it. Thanks for those four months. Just, yeah, this is really grindy. I mean, and I'm trying to knock out a Water Week Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. All right, they're going to gust up this Ice Rider. That's fine. I actually prefer that they do this uh, in hindsight. Like, maybe I should have just kept this Ice Rider in the active, but it's fine. They waste a boss. So I can actually take the knockout on this Blaziken with Glacial Lance, which is what I think I'm probably going for. Thank you, Aaron, for the Prime sub in the 11 months. All right, so I can go get Mewtwo now and reuse Melanie, which is what I want to do. So let's quick ball away the Marnie. Go get Mewtwo. Mewtwo. Stack Melanie. Make do away the switch. And thank you, Nexus for the tier one sub as well. And we'll Melanie to the active. Okay, we've got another one here. We can scoop up net the Mew, slap that back down. And then I can save the other place. We're going to take three prizes on this. It's pretty good. Mew saved. Yeah, that's cool. We'll just Glacial Lance. Excellent. Just been trying to do that for a long time now. <laughs> it's been a long time. That's fine. We got another Water Energy. Good. And another Melanie. Fantastic. Excellent. Excellent. I do really want to get this Snow Runt down. Um, yeah, I really want to get the snow runt down, but, uh, that's fine. I think it's better to just have the Mew 2 in the scoop up, in the scoop up net. The scoop up nets on the Mew, I mean, that's been single-handedly saving me this game. That's for sure. You know, my opponent having to cross fist for, I mean, Zara Aura is just so bad if it's up against Mew, right? Because it just, three energy for a hundred, that's like... It's unacceptable, really. I mean, that's just not... You're playing your whole deck does three energy for a hundred. It just... Yeah. Oh, if they get all three of Deliad into play? You know. Oh, they're going for it. Surely he can't... He can't keep getting away with it. He can't... He can't keep getting away with it, bro. <laughs> he can't keep getting away with it. All right. So, we want to knock out this dude. 
three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. How much damage am I do with the with the V Max? That's a question that I have. All right, we're definitely scoopy scooping this Mew up, right? Oh yeah, we got to. Yeah, there's no fans or butts about that. Okay, we've got the V Max, thankfully, and the Melanie in hand, so that's very good. Layers our V Max. Excellent. Half to Melanie. Cool. Um, I actually am very glad that I got two scoop up nets. That is excellent. So we can make do away Marnie. Okay. Make do away another path to the peak. These don't really matter at this point. Okay. And then we can quick ball away Snorlax and get Snow Runt. Scoop up net. This dude. Throw him up. Go there. Go there. Yeah, it's 10 plus 30 more for each opponent's bench Pokemon, so it's, yeah, 160. Wait, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Oh, 150? Whew. Easy. All right, so we're doing 160. Perfect. Um, we'll bench the Mew. We'll bench the snow runt. Seems good. And then we're gonna ride of the high king. Hey, what's up? Pedro Saninchi 18 with a rate of 47 chat. If you have not already checked out Pedro's Twitch channel, you are missing out. Pedro's an amazing guy, great Pokemon trading card game player. Definitely make sure to swing by and drop Pedro a follow. We are working on Ice Rider Calrex right now. Having a pretty good time with it, actually. This is uh, this has been this has been fun. Playing Chinchino is fun, and I know Pedro is a big Chinchino fan. So, you know, getting to draw a ton of cards every turn is definitely gnarly. We love it. Now, obviously, we do have weakness to metal. It's, uh, it's not great, but we did beat the 180p deck that we played against because I went turn one path to the peak, they went past, I went turn two max lance, and they were done. So that was uh, that was nice. That was pretty sweet. Hey, thank you, Big Evo, for the gifted sub and those 13 gifted subs total to the channel. Appreciate you, Big Evo. All right, we're getting stamped too. Thankfully, we do have some Chinchinos. Nice, we got the Frost last. I mean, if they bring up a... The thing is, if they put a two-prize Pokemon into the active position, they'll lose. So they have to go... They have to go quick shooting the Mew, right? But then, if they don't attack with the Rapid Strike Pokemon, then they don't get the bonus effect of... Well, they could still win. Okay, so they, they go quick shooting the Mew, quick shooting the Mew and then pass with the Inteleon active. I knock it out. Then they, oh, they don't have two. Ah, they can't win, yeah. Right, they don't have two Inteleons, so they can only quick shooting once, and they're gonna do it to the active. They've given up on the Mew. So, now they're trying to do enough damage to the Ice Rider. I don't think that they can necessarily do that. Yeah, probably not. They gotta take two prizes. They can't do it. So long as Mew's in play, they can't do it. So, and they can't do 230 damage next turn. That's not a thing. So, let's see what we can do. Make do. Got a water and a quick ball. Make do again. Air balloon. That's fine. So we'll just Melanie to the active. And there's our boss. Doesn't matter. Just Max Lance, discard two. And we should be home free. Because I can now knock out anything that they have in play. Right? 
and then cross fist we were able to keep that mew healed the entire game cross fist just never having an opportunity to do any significant damage uh the pats of the peak didn't play a big role in this game unfortunately i mean because they didn't really have any of those you know crowbats or denny's or anything like that they actually turns out play pat to the peak as well so not sure that there's any two cards they can get hello what's this no that's not going to do it they've got the scroll of uh, the lightning rapid strike scroll whatever that is and an escape rope but yeah they're going to scoop it up GG's. Okay, nice opening hint. Going first, don't mind it. Playing against Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. We all know that this matchup is free. <laughs> um... Okay. Get this dude out. This is where like Snorlax would be really, really good, right? Like if I had opened a switch. Um Yeah. That's fine. We'll just keep that. Hey, thank you, Zangi, for the Prime sub. All right, let's start a new prediction against ADP. What do you guys think? Another round against Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. We getting there? I think I'm 2-0 against ADP with this deck. Because I've gone first and just had some pretty busted plays. Now, I don't even mind this. I actually prefer to have this dude in the active position. Yo, they got the Dedenny, but they can't play it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Insane value. Because I can energy assist. Right, for 40, and then do knockout damage next turn. So, mm hmm, do I have an energy in the discard palm? No. Tough call. Tough call. We'll get rid of that. Okay. And then we'll bench that. And I think we're going to energy assist. All right. I'm just trusting that I will draw into the cards that I need to take this knockout. I didn't ditch the quick ball because I was thinking that maybe if I drew into a, like, what if I drew into a Melanie, right? Make do here. Bird Keeper. GG's. Let's go, chat. Free matchup. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Lucario Melmetal seems like a seems like a bad matchup. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, put that out there. Yep, seems I would say suboptimal. 
Yeah. Yeah, I'd say this matchup seems close to the unwinnable side of things. It's not what you want, necessarily. Yeah, it's not good. Not good. Okay, we'll go get Snorlax. It's nice. Might find a scoop up or something. Go get Ice Reiner. Marnie. Now, my main strategy here is that I really need... This is actually a... Okay, deck. All right. Gorman. Hey. All right. I'm just saying. Deck looking pretty good right now. If they don't have... If that path sticks, dude. My opponent going to be having a bad time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they hiding, dude. They got nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. They got nothing going on over there, bro. <laughs> path to the peak. Uh, path to the path to the victory. Am I right? Okay. Get this fella out, and we're we'll start making some do. Probably not going to be Marnieing. Yeah. Okay. Nope. I will not be utilizing Marnie. Would have been safer to... <laughs> it's cool. I ain't getting punished, bro. No, I ain't getting punished. I ain't getting punished. I don't know what's in that hand, but somehow it was not good. We should have potentially energy assisted there. Yeah, no, they got nothing. All right, we're chilling. So, all I have to do is find the VMAX, and we win. Great. Well, I don't want to Marnie just in case. It's the same amount of dig either way. So, we'll thin the deck first. The path. Grab this guy. Okay. Discard Snorlax. Research does help. Yeah. Discard that. And that is going to be GG's. Got Max Lance for 250, even with the goggles. That's going to be it. See ya. Woo wee. Man, that was a solid performance there, bud. Oh, we're getting Marnied. I had everything I needed, man. We were good to go. Looks like I'm playing against. Ooh, okay. Let's get it. My opponent doesn't find their dude, which you know I'm totally cool with. And then we're absolutely chilling. Turn two, getting in there. Pokemon communication. Get the VMAX out. Look at that pressure. And now I can just start discarding yeah, Max Lance one at a time. Like, what are you going to do about this? What are you doing about Big Ice Rider, Calyrex VMAX coming in hot, turn two with three energy on it? Yo, Jesse, after playing yesterday, uh, the Cake Rider deck is still probably my favorite way to play it. I played against... Uh, um, a Trevnor version of it and went three and two versus it in a best of five. So we beat it. 
Um, and then I played against an Urshifu deck with the Cake Rider deck and beat it 3-2 as well. Uh, it felt very solid. I beat the only Eternatus deck I played against. The deck is still very good. You just definitely have to, like, you have to tech for uh, Path to the Peak, right? And I think that that's, like, the opening weekend of the set release is that a lot of Shadow Rider lists were not um, not teching for Path to the Peak. So now that, like, you know, I've got two uh, Marshadow, resetting whole Marshadow in my list, you know, and as well to help with all that. And it makes the matchup pretty smooth. I still like the Cake Rider deck a lot. Um, I'm not, personally, I don't think that the Trepnor version is that good. I don't like it. And even if you're telling me, oh, well, it won this tournament, it won that tournament, man, dude, I do not care, okay? <laughs> I, don't, I do not like that version of the deck. It, you know, for the same reason that I never liked the, uh, I never liked the expanded version of Trepnor either. It's just like a deck where it's like, oh, I try to remove my opponent's hand and hope they don't top deck out of it. Like, that strategy might be pretty good, but, like, Personally, I don't, I don't like, I don't like it. I, I'd rather try to outplay my opponent and not just try to early, early game sack them into no hand, right? So, yeah, no, not, not a huge fan of that. I do think the path to the peak is incredibly good, and I think that the concept of using path to the peak in your Travnor deck is is good, right? But like, I personally am am a bigger fan of other ways to play that deck. Well, all right, so they're set up. Quick ball with Snorlax. Uh, get another Ice Rider, it seems fine. Okay. There we go. And we will ride of the High King, take the knockout. Now, control decks aren't my favorite decks to play. I will play them sometimes. I always felt like the Violet Plume deck was... I always, I always felt like the Violet Plume deck in Expanded was more of a control-ish kind of deck. And I did really like that deck. So some, you know, some control type decks I like. Um, but, you know, I'm not a player who's just going to play every control deck there is. There are some decks that have control aspects to them that I do kind of like. But, yeah. Yeah. The Trevnor version of the of the Shadow Rider deck. I mean, Shadow Riders is such a good card. You know, obviously tag teams are good, but I think that the tag team decks just get destroyed by Eternatus, though, right? For the most part. Now, obviously, you could play Galarian Zapdos there, and then but then you're making your yeah, but then you're making your you're making your Shadow Rider deck less consistent, and that's what we found yesterday as we were playing. Um, hundred eighty. This is not good. Kind of needing to top deck something. Now I didn't set up my Mincino. That was a little bit greedy of me. Admittedly, that was a little bit greedy of me. Um, but I was having a way better experience, uh, just building my, you know, playing my consistent Shadow Rider deck, right? And we were finding that uh, the version that I have was, was operating more consistently than the Trevnor version. At least from what I was seeing. 
you know, we played five games against it. I mean, not that five games is a ton, but like, I don't know. I had one day of, you know, PTCGO testing so far. That's about as good as it gets. We played a best of five yesterday, uh, just 1v1. So I think that the the Al Creamy version has a lot of legs. And I think that part of the Trevenant, uh, part of the very strong performance of the Trevenant version of the deck was that nobody was expecting it. Okay. This is interesting. Cool, man. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, we'll go get that. Yeah. Right of the hiking. All right, take the KO. Feels good. I knew I'd top deck eventually, right? I had, I had to top deck eventually out of that. My suspicion is that the is that the straightforward Shadow Rider decks will beat the Trevnor Shadow Rider decks. That's my suspicion. If if teched appropriately, right? It was the same reason why straightforward attacking Zorak decks would beat Zorak Garbodor decks, right? But Zorak Garbodor decks would beat a lot of other stuff. Because so long as it's the same thing, right? It's the same thing. So long as you played enough tool scrappers, the straightforward Zorak decks would win because they had more options. They had they, you know. Right, right, right. At the end of the day, Trevnor is a three prize Pokemon that only does 150 damage. If you are teched for the Trevnor, if you know that the fact that the Trevnor is there and that the path to the peaks are there, just try, you gotta play around it, okay? Now, obviously, if your opponent just draws the absolute stones and goes turn one, Horror House GX, turn two, Marnie Trevnor, you know, then, like, you might lose that game. Like, that might happen. But that's, like, a lot, right? Play them out around Marnie Trev. You can play around Marnie Trev if you just, like, put, like, a Marshadow down or something like that. Turns out Paths to the Peak is an incredibly powerful stadium and can win games all by itself. I think this card is going to see a ton of play in the formats to come and then even an expanded format after it rotates out of standard format eventually. Hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, check out FullGripCodes.com for all the best Pokemon trading card game online codes delivered instantly via email. Y'all have a busted day. Peace.